What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. My name is David Warren, and this is Day One Adventures. Today's adventure, up in Philly, going to start off the day here at Foga de Chow, down in Center City. They have a lunch special, so for $18, you get a really nice salad bar. You got meats, cheeses. I even have some um, garlic mashed potatoes, some Yucatan, and some platons, cheese bread. So it's a really good meal and I'm um, just getting fueled up before I go out there and hit the streets. For parking, I use Spot Hero, and I was able to get parking over at the convention center. Parking that's like right across the street from it for $18. So check on Spot Hero. So I got about 10 hours parking, $18, and the lunch was $18. So time for an adventure. I'm just gonna show you a little bit. This is what I got left. This, I don't know what it was, but it was kind of sweet. I like that one. That one was good. This one was kind of like middle of the road. That had a little spice in it. These are like different sauces. They had different cheeses. Uh, that's the salami. Salami was okay. And the uh, salmon, you see the salmon right there? That was pretty good. I forget what the name of this fruit is, but that's good, and I got my garlic mash right here. All right, so I'm gonna try some of this um, garlic mash right here. Now, this is for the table, but I'll be polite and uh, scoop some out. So this is the garlic mash. Oh, that's good. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't eat mashed potatoes a lot because of my diet or my, my eating. So I don't have mashed potatoes a lot. These are really good mashed potatoes. Wow. We got some scallions on top. That's delicious. So if you not, might not know about Fogo the Chow, they do a, um, a service where they walk around with these skewers of meat that have been grilled. And you have a little chip that you can flip over. Brazilian Steakhouse. And you flip the chip over green if you want them to come over. And then they slice off a piece of meat for you or whatever they have, meat, chicken, pork. Um, and they slice it off, put it on your plate, and you use you little tongs to take it off. So that's one of the main things. But the food here is very, it's very good. Next, we're gonna try some of that. I wanna say the uh, bananas, plantains for later. You, I think this is called Yucatan. Ah. It's like a potato. It's like a really fried potato. Mm. Oh, it's good, it's crunchy. It almost reminds me of like a snack. Next. What about one of those? Can you try one of those? I'm gonna rest my palate real quick.
Oh man, that's so good. That's a banana. Then it made, it's grilled just, it's grilled all the way around. So it's just the right flavor. I'm gonna save that for later. I like to have that with a little coffee, finish off my meal. So I'm gonna finish off this plate now and probably go up there and get a little bit more. All right. All right, we got our second plate here. So there's a sweet, I'm gonna mix that with some of the bread. And I got some fruits here. I think one of the biggest misconceptions when people hear buffet is that you have to eat a lot to get your money's worth. If it's quality, you don't have to eat a lot. And it's variety. So when I go to a buffet, I'm looking for two things, quality and variety. Being able to mix different flavors together and experience everything. That is really the reason that I like to go to different buffets and experiences like this. Quality and variety. So thanks for joining me on this adventure. Hey, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and until next adventure, remember, take care of each other, peace out, and I will see you all soon.